Good evening. I'm Mary Beth Kearns Barrett, the director of the chaplain's office. And on behalf of the college chaplains and the Department of Music, I'm happy to welcome you to this 42nd annual celebration of the Festival of Lessons and Carols. We are delighted to have you join us for this evening's tradition of sacred scripture and joyful song. As we live with the suffering and loss of this pandemic, this Advent season, we dare to proclaim Emmanuel. Our liturgy tonight reminds us that God is indeed with us, offering us light and hope for our path. Now let us join in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Beloved in Christ, in this joyful season of expectation, we hear once again the story of God's loving promise and purpose for creation, the coming of the Holy Child to bring a reign of peace and goodwill to all. But first, let us remember the needs of our world. For the peace and justice promised in our scripture, for the poor and powerless, for the hungry and oppressed, for the sick in body and mind, for the lonely and unloved, for the aged and children, and for all who have gone before us in faith. In joyful expectation of the coming of God's reign, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Everlasting God, hasten that long-awaited day when you will establish justice and peace over the land. Lift from our hearts the weight of anxiety and fear and strengthen us for holiness. Raise our heads to greet the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Peace and grace be to this house where all are welcomed in. Receive the guest, receive this heart. Tell the stranger, tell.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. The word of the Lord.
Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Lucas Y al sexto mes, el ángel Gabriel fue enviado por Dios a una ciudad de Galilea llamada Nazaret, a una virgen desposada con un hombre que se llamaba José, de los descendientes de David. Y el nombre de la virgen era María. Y entrando, el ángel le dijo, Salve, muy favorecida, el Señor está contigo, bendita eres tú entre las mujeres. Pero ella se turbó mucho por estas palabras, y se preguntaba qué clase de saludo sería este. Y el ángel le dijo, No temas, María, porque has hallado gracia delante de Dios. Y he aquí, concebirás en tu seno y darás luz a un hijo. Y le pondrás por nombre Jesús. Este será grande y será llamado Hijo del Altísimo. Y el Señor Dios le dará el trono de su padre David, y reinará sobre la casa de Jacob para siempre, y su reino no tendrá fin. Entonces María dijo al ángel, ¿Cómo será esto, puesta que soy virgen? Respondiendo, el ángel le dijo, El Espíritu Santo vendrá sobre ti, y el poder del Altísimo te cubrirá con su sombra. Por eso el santo niño que nacerá será llamado Hijo de Dios. Y he aquí tu pariente Elizabeth, en su vejez también ha concebido un hijo. Y este es el sexto mes para ella, la que llamaban estéril. Porque ninguna cosa será imposible para Dios. Entonces María dijo, He aquí la sierva del Señor, hágase conforme su palabra. Y el ángel se fue de su presencia. Palabra del Señor. Riu, riu, chiu, la guarda ribera, Dios guardó el lobo de nuestra cordera, Dios guardó el lobo de nuestra cordera. Riu, riu, chiu, la guarda ribera, Dios guardó el lobo de nuestra cordera, Dios guardó el lobo de nuestra cordera. Muchas profetías lo han profetiado, ya en nuestros días lo hemos alcanzado. A Dios humanado vemos en el suelo, y al hombre ni cielo, porque le quisiera. Río, río, chivo, la guata ribera, Dios cuando se te suelta el lobo de nuestra cordera. Yo vi mil garzones que andaban cantando Por aquí volando, haciendo mil sones Diciendo a garzones, gloria sea en el cielo Y paz en el suelo, que es Jesús naciera Río, río, chivo, agua, taribera Dios cuando se te suelta el lobo de nuestra cordera. Dios cuando se te suelta el lobo de nuestra cordera. Pues que ya tenemos lo que deseamos. Todos juntos vamos, presentes el vemos. Todos le daremos nuestra voluntad. Pues así igualar con el hombre viniera. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, onto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem 
Because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, joy and gladness attend the advent of your reign in Jesus. For wherever the good news is proclaimed to the poor, the weak are made steady and the fearful hearts grow strong. Give us strength for witnessing that we may go and tell the glad tidings we hear with our ears and know in our hearts. We make this prayer in the name of the one foretold by the prophets and heralded by the angels, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were struck with great fear. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in swaddling cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them 
where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Oh, the Knabe in 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh, nor by human will, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. We thank you for being with us this evening. 
We are grateful to all those who helped to create our liturgy, which was several months in the making and drew on the talents and generosity of so many members of the Holy Cross community. I especially want to thank our readers, our production staff, John Buckingham and Paul Rain, our liturgy team, Lawrence Rosania, Father Keith Maskowitz, and Emily Rower Davis, who planned and coordinated this service, Allegra Martin, the director of college choirs, and all of the choir and the Holy Cross Orchestra, our organ scholar, Matthew Luca, and our solo vocalists, instrumentalists, and student composers. Each year at Lessons and Carols, we collect a free will offering for Abbey's House, an organization here in Worcester that has a long history with Holy Cross and that supports women and children facing homelessness. Since we are not able to pass a basket for donations, I ask you to consider making a donation to Abbey's House by going to abbeyshouse.org backslash donate. Thank you for your generosity. And on behalf of the college chaplains and all of Holy Cross, I wish you all a blessed Advent season and a very Merry Christmas. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon us and scatter the darkness before us. May Christ, whose incarnation gathered into one all things of earth and heaven, fill us with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. And may the blessing of our loving God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Let us go in peace to rejoice in the coming of the Lord.